Hey guys, what is up? The Neo Cubist here. Welcome to episode 2 of my Minecraft 1.19 Survival Let's Play. If you missed episode 1, definitely go and check it out. Probably the best first episode I've ever had of any series ever. Today we're going to be doing some exploration you guys remember on the lush beach. We had found out that there's lush caves beneath a beach that's somewhere over yonder. And while I was taking screenshots of our beautiful house, which by the way, I'm pretty proud of. It's a good starter house. It's pretty cool to see, you know, it's up there integrated into the land mass that's just floating. But I did make a little bit of a discovery when I was taking some screenshots. So way over here, oh no, okay. Well, it's okay, it's not hardcore, right? If I die, I, I die and I just spawn back in my house. I found out there's another lush cave over here. You know, it's like really, really far away. So I might have to increase my chunk render distance. Um, but it's just way over there too. Let's just increase it real quick. Okay, there we go. And I started the replay recording too. So you can see the lush trees like way, way over there. If I zoom in like this and do a double zoom, you can see them clearly in plain view. And there's also a big taiga biome over there. A large old growth spruce tree, whatever you want to call it. And that's pretty sweet. So let's put it back on 20 chunks so we don't destroy my computer. And let's just go over here because you can see there's a close, closer lush cave over there. And that's where I want to go and mine. So we have a diamond pickaxe, which is unusual for me, you know, near the beginning of a series. But like I said, oh, make, make sure to spread this out. I'm not trying to slow anything down. I'm just trying to play and play it at my own pace. If you want to read what this series is about, read the description. Thank you. Okay, so I'll meet you guys over there. You want to see me teleport right to that base of the tree right there? Watch this. There we go, guys. Definitely didn't have to swim across that. But look, we are here. We have arrived at the tree. So I guess we should just dig straight down. But yeah, this is probably the most broken seed I've ever had. I mean, it just is absolutely incredible. I know it's not actually broken, but it looks, per it looks pretty broken compared to how Minecraft used to look. So maybe this is not the smart. You know what? We're guys, we're not in hardcore. Okay, we can dig straight down if we so choose. Maybe it's not the smartest way to get down. I didn't bring a water bucket, did I? Mmm. I do have everything I need to make one, so we might as well do ourselves a huge favor and give us the potential of saving our lives via an MLG bucket. And I also don't have any wood. I'm glad I did this. I'm glad I didn't keep going down. I was gonna be like, ah, whatever. No, probably shouldn't be an ah, whatever moment. I need to get wood. Otherwise, I'll have to come back up at some point. So let's go to the closest trees and get a little bit of wood. Okay, this should do us just fine. We'll get one more tree here, but I was going to say I'm so happy that the first base turned out so well. It makes me excited to come back home instead of coming back home to like, you know, a crappy looking house with chests all over the place. We actually have like organized chests. I did spend a little bit of time between episodes organizing them. So everything is nice and spick and span as far as that goes. So we can come back and actually put things where they properly go, which is very satisfying. So let's find out. Is the lush cave... I mean, obviously there's a lush cave down here, but is it deep or not? Um, I'm also going to like make sure that I have this. Don't want that there. I want to make sure that I have the water bucket very close to me because I don't want to like just fall. I mean, hey, if I fall and die, I'll just come right back here and get my stuff, but I'd rather not, you know? We are getting a lot of rooted dirt, which is good, I guess, in some capacity. I hear bats. I also hear a lot of mobs. Okay, we fell into water. Oh, <laughs> my life flashed before my eyes, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, where's the lush cave, though? <laughs> this is great and all. This is, this is great and all. Where, where's the lush cave? Oh, it's down there, okay. I was like, we got cheated. There's no lush cave. I do see some iron up there. And while I'd love to get it, I'm sure there's going to be a lot more down here. So let's just... Uh, actually, before we go any deeper, is there any coal up here? That's one thing we literally have almost none of. Okay, there is some coal right there. So let's just... Sure. Put this right here. Angle ourselves properly. There's that lush cave that we all know and love. Cool. So I'll grab this iron. But yeah, it's so nice starting off with the diamond pickaxe. Those shipwrecks had some awesome loot. Okay, what was that noise? Isn't that the noise like a guardian makes or something? Like what? Wh what was that noise? <laughs> Surely there's not an ancient city this close to us and it's right under us. Because if there is, I'm going to be very, very sad and scared. I actually won't be sad. Wouldn't it be cool to live in an ancient city? Where you'd have to like conquer the entire thing? Ooh, that would be interesting. I did start replay, right? Yes, I did. Cool. So I will mine out this coal pocket and then I'll come back to collect it. 
nope, it's too tiny. Never mind. I, sometimes I'll cut out mining coal pockets and then I'll come back and like, you know, pick everything up because that's the satisfying part anyways. But hey, if it's going to be that tiny, there's no point. I do love having Op to find again. Okay, good. Well, I'm glad there was some coal off the bat because the deeper you go now and, you know, 1.18 onwards is the less coal you're going to find. So you want to make sure you have a good stack because I only have 14 torches. And that'd be a little detrimental if we got super deep and you guys couldn't see anything. Because after all, it's it's important to me that you guys can actually see and experience this with me. Otherwise, what's the point, right? I would still be having fun, but you'd have no fun. And that's that's not good. So we'll keep going higher up in this cave just for a second. Okay. Looks like that's the end of it. So we'll grab this. I'll grab that other coal vein that I saw. I'm not really grabbing the copper because I don't know what to do with it. I don't like... I like... I made some, what were they called? I made some lightning rods with it, but other than that, I don't see the point in copper. I like the cut copper blocks like a little bit. They're okay looking to me, but they're not something I would ever like seek out to build with, I guess. I don't know. Let me get the coal. Okay. Never mind. I was going to cut it. But it's so short. <sighs> you guys want to see a lush cave? Me too. Let's go. Okay. We, first of all, need to swap these. These are not in the right spot. Okay. So every, everything's okay. We're not dead. We're not dead. This is a microscopic lush cave, if that's the lush cave it was talking about. Maybe it's bigger on the other side, I don't know. But like I said, we have that other lush cave to look at too. And there was two of those, uh, two of those flowering azalea trees. What did I call that? I called it the azalea beach, right? Or no, I called it the lush beach. I don't remember. I think I called it the wrong kind of tree. Did I call it Acacia Beach? I don't remember. It wasn't official or anything, you know. Ooh, a mine shaft. Don't mind if I do. This is a good, interesting caving episode. Now, let's go. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Please don't water. Don't, don't, don't do it to me. Oh, do we make some obsidian? No, just a basic cobble gin over there. Man, there is a lot of iron off the bat, which I'm very happy about. Because I will just definitely make a full set of iron armor. We'll see how much we have. Obviously, I want to have a little bit of an excess if I, you know, have to make an iron pickaxe or two. Because this diamond pickaxe is already on its way out. Because we had to drill out such a big area for our base. But let's check this. Yeah, 42 is more than enough. Okay. So, let's make this. Please, nothing run up on me. I'm not, like, super worried, because, you know, if I were to die, you know, it would suck, and I'd have to come back down here, but <laughs> it wouldn't be the end of the world, which is the best thing. It literally is not the end of the world anymore. And look at that, dude. We already ran out of torches. Wait, did I... Okay, did I put the whole stack of coal in there, or did we really only get that much coal? No, we really did. We only had, like, 28 coal. Why did it feel like I got so much more coal than I did? Huh. Interesting. Probably because they don't have Fortune 3. <laughs> I'm always used to mining it with Fortune 3. That's probably it. Yeah, I hear you moaning and groaning. Come over here, buddy. Come over here, buddy. Buddy boy. Okay, that goes very deep. Okay, yes, I see you. Yes, you... Wow. That's a very cool bow. That's a very cool bow. I shouldn't be taunting you because I'm on hard and I have no armor. Hmm, I should keep you, but it's okay. We'll find another zombified villager. Okay. I'm gonna wait for this to smelt, and then I'll come back, and we'll have a full set of iron armor. Okay, well, I've just been hiding in my little tiny, my little tiny makeshift hole here. Which reminds me, the first base I ever had in Minecraft was literally this shape, and I just had, like, like this. <laughs> Whenever I first started the game, I was watching something Paul's Jr., his, like, how to play Minecraft videos... And uh, that's how I learned how to play, because I had played creative Minecraft for a while, but I'd never played the version where you could, like, break blocks and pick them up. Like, you know, survival. So I thought it was very interesting that you could do that. And uh, I made a base, and it was pretty sad looking. But look at this, guys. Full set of full set of armor, almost. Well, I mean, we have gold pants, which are mending, so we're just going to keep those. They're not doing any harm. Uh, we, It's okay. If we need more stuff, we'll we'll let it smelt. But let's go check out what we actually wanted to see. I do I'm, I do want to look at the mine shaft, but I also want to look at this lush cave. Well, let me get the iron. Okay, so now let's go and look at the lush cave. Ooh, okay. So it's not super big. It looks like it's only on the roof, which is interesting. Okay, I will take this. These things are absolutely beautiful. Now, am I wrong? And, and maybe it goes over here or something? 
MLG bucket. First time in a long time. Okay, well we fell straight onto some diamonds. That's always a good sign. But yeah, it looks like the lush cave. No, I saw a little peak of a lush cave. And that's where the other flowering azalea tree was, was it was kind of pointing over there. So maybe that's where the bigger section of a flower forest is. It is always good, of course, to find diamonds. So we'll take those. Don't shoot me, sir. Don't. Okay, you're gonna get one shot off. Yeah, just one, dude. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Who, okay, money's on the skelly for sure. Money's on the skelly. Okay, now I get to... I don't think the zombie actually got to hit the skeleton once. They're too overpowered. So I'll take a screenshot of this. I'll do my due diligence as a Minecraft YouTuber. So give me one second. We'll bury ourselves into the ground. We'll get the angle. Look at this. You want to know how I got the thumbnail? There you go, baby. Something like that. Hold on. I've almost died. <laughs> like three times trying to take this thumbnail. This zombie here, it, dude, there's been like three or four zombies. But we're done. We don't need to do that anymore. Two diamonds. I will definitely take a diamond sword. I already know that's exactly what I want to make. I am tired of this iron garbage. Go away. Never to be seen again. Okay. So now we're definitely kitted up a little bit better. Um, I do want to take... Oh my gosh. Why is there so many skeletons over there? And which... Where am I getting... Oh, okay. It's, it's, the, it's you. Okay. Well, you just keep shooting at me from really far away and keep missing. I wanted to get this this flower right here. Okay, I gotta take care of you first. You're gonna knock me off my post, man. Okay, get out of here. I will take the bones. I will take the bones. Not the arrow. I will take the bones. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to get this thing. I forget what they're called. I don't remember, but all I know is that they're beautiful and they're kind of somewhat rare. Are they the lotus flower? No, a spore blossom. Okay. That's definitely not what I thought the name of was. Two for two on the MLG buckets so far. Someone keep a counter, okay? So we have we've done two MLG buckets, and we're two for two. So we're doing pretty good. Have not missed one yet. I will get the lapis. I know I said in the beginning you're gonna find it everywhere, so I might as well grab it. It can't hurt anything. Also can't hurt getting a ton of extra iron as well. Just because, you know, we don't have any. And I want to do some rail systems and stuff. I got some big plans for this series, guys. I don't think I'm going to ever use Elytra Flight. I feel like it really does kind of ruin the game. Maybe the only time I'll use the Elytra is when we're actually in the in the end. But, like, I just... I, I don't know. I feel like, for me, it kind of ruins everything. Because you, you never build railways or anything like that. And I may feel differently later on in the series. We'll just have to see. Why is there water? Why... Did I just see a fish? Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, hello, fishies. How are, you, how are you doing? We'll just leave that iron to its own devices. Did I get a glowberry? I did. Okay. As long as I have a couple of glowberries, I'll be good. Because I'd like to put those in my house. They look really good, or at least hang them from our area. So we'll try to get a couple here if we can. Okay, there we go. Can I get these? So we have eight glowberries. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. Nope. I somehow miscounted. Let's go check out the bigger area of Lush that we saw. And let's go see if there's something over yonder. Because I think there is. I think that's where the big Lush extravaganza is going to be. Might have to fight a few uh, foes on the way. But look at that. Didn't even get a shot off. And I'm hoping that, you know, in, in the pattern of, you know, every one of these Let's Plays I've ever done, I always find a dungeon and I usually find it early on. So, I'm not going to do anything special or new or anything like that, and I can guarantee you that I'm going to find a dungeon in this cave. I mean, you can check the seed, right? Like, if you want to come here, you're like, Neo, it's fake. No, I am going to find a dungeon. I'm going to make sure of it. So, hopefully, this is a bigger lush area. I know there's redstone. I'll come back. Okay. Does this happen to anyone else? Do you guys get tricked by this into thinking it's diamonds ever? The glow lichen? I don't know what it is about it, but I keep thinking that I'm finding diamonds all the time. Oh, okay. So this is somewhat bigger. At least there's some of it on the ground now, which is good. But I'm going to take these bushes because they're beautiful. And I'd like to have them for my base. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, it looks good. I'm glad that we found that. It's not the biggest lush area in the world. But it's big enough. It doesn't need to be super huge or anything. I just mainly wanted the things that you get from the Lush Cave. Because we have experienced the Lush Cave quite a bit living in one in my hardcore Let's Play maybe six months ago or so. 
I don't know. It hasn't been that long, but that was definitely an experience. I had a lot of fun. Okay, so we'll grab this iron, and then I, I say we go. I say we start going in the mine shaft. I feel like it's kind of a dangerous proposition, but we can do the danger things because we don't lose our world when we die. It's so nice. Yeah, I might as well. Look at me being lazy already in the first mining episode. There's all this iron here. I'm like, ah, oh, it's too high up, dude. It's like six blocks off the ground. Okay, so let's head back up the waterfall of dreams and find ourselves the mine shaft. Hopefully there's something good in it. I'm pretty sure this is where the mine shaft was. Don't kill me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was like right over there. Maybe, potentially, we'll see. We're getting kind of low on food, which is unfortunate. Oh, yeah, we did already eat all of our mutton. Oh yeah. So we can't be down here too, too much longer, which is kind of a shame. Maybe I'll go back up and like grab some food and then come back down here. Uh, Cause I don't think there's, I mean, you can eat glow berries, but they really don't, I don't want to eat them, man. I want, I want to keep those, oh, but it is nice to find a mine shaft. Ooh, and a chest off the bat. Let's go. Okay. Some more glow berries. Maybe. We, oh, I was going to say the world has been kind to us. Get a little bit of definitely want to grab the name tag and the melon seeds and the torches. Everything else in there is eh, whatever, but I am very happy that we found some bread and some iron. That's always a good sign. Nice. All right. And then of course I'll show you the good part. Nice. So I'm hoping again that I can find a dungeon. You know, the chances are pretty low and I'm not talking about just a spawner. I'm talking about a full fledged dungeon. It, it is possible, but I don't know. It depends on how much more bread we find down here. Ooh, depends on how much more bread we find. That's not a good thing to have to worry about because I don't think the bread is super common in the loot table. Or maybe I'm completely wrong, but also if we find a dungeon, it would probably have a ton of food in it. So <laughs> we could just try to make that our goal. Hmm. Because mine shafts do expose like a lot of blocks, right? So if you're going to find a dungeon, you know, finding it in a cave is probably your best bet. So we'll go into a deeper part of it here. And check it out. Look at this iron, dude. We already have almost two stacks of iron. That's going to be very helpful. Can make many buckets and many rails with that. Many buckets and many rails. Because I don't know if I want to do like an underground sort of type of deal. Oh my goodness. I, I tell the story about this every time. So when they first added mine shafts, they added these big boss rooms to the generation. Because there was supposed to be a boss in here. They never added a boss. And they still kept the big rooms. I'm not sure why. Maybe for in the future they're going to they're gonna add something. Some sort of mine shaft. Not a boss necessarily, but like a mine shaft mob you have to kill. <clears throat> I don't know. They've left it there for like six years, so we'll see Mojang. We're waiting, man. We're waiting. It's so nice, though. It's been so hot in Oklahoma, which is where I live. It's been like, I think the high today was like 78 degrees. It's been over 100 degrees every single day for like a month, so it's been absolutely miserable, which means I get to probably do some yard work tomorrow, which is pretty exciting. But there will be an episode tomorrow as well, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. I think this year entirely, or sorry, for the last 90 days, I think I've lost subscribers, but it's because I haven't been making any good videos, something like that. So I'd appreciate your subscription. Okay, so how much lapis is this? Yeah, probably already close to a stack. Now, if we don't find a dungeon down here, I won't consider it a complete and total loss because I'd like for the dungeon to be a little bit closer to home. I did spot a cave that was close to our house. It looked pretty big. And I found it when I was taking some thumbnail pictures. So I think we may go over there and look in that cave. I do like this mine shaft and it's great and all. Oh, okay, that's a lot of skellies. That actually made me jump. <laughs> he came around the corner a little too quick. Where you going, buddy? Okay, two skellies, I heard a third. Dungeon chances are increasing. I don't, I don't actually know where the third one went. Is there anything down here? Any diamonds? Hello? No? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think a dungeon is in the is in the cards today. Oh, where were you hiding, man? Seriously. <laughs> like, I remember I looked... Oh! Gravel's trying to kill me, man. Alright, well, let's continue onwards. Maybe we can find something cool. But if not, like I said, I found that cave near the house, so we could definitely look at that one as well.
Nice. Cool. Sorry, I was looking at my dog. I was like, what's going on? Um, yeah. Okay, so let's head back to the house, drop off some of this stuff, and then we're going to go find an even better looking cave. Because I do like mine shafts, but this one has not led us to anything great. We only found one mine cart chest thing. I was hoping for more. Not going to lie. I'm not disappointed, but I'm not happy. Maybe this way has something? Hmm. Nope, nothing. Okay, I'll meet you guys back at the house. Dude, I'm not kidding. I'm literally not kidding. Okay. Because you're going to think it's fake. You're going to think it's fake. Uh, I, Dude, I can't do it. Okay, so we were over here, and I was like, hmm, is there anything down here? Nope. Okay, I'm going to meet you guys back at the house. I walk over here. There is some gravel, okay? Because I'm trying to think, like, hmm, how can I get out of here? This way's down. Don't want to go that way. Nothing that way. And I saw that there was an area up here. So I put some water down. The gravel fell. I then proceeded to look, and I stopped because I was like, no way. Look, there is mossy cobblestone right there. I can't. I cannot. Like, I can't, I can't explain it. Please tell me, please tell me it's a skeleton. Okay, it's a zombie. It's a zombie. We're all good, though. That's fine. Jeez, dude. What are the chan- Ooh, it has the best music disc in the game. Let's go. We got two name tags now. Got a god apple. I guess it's not actually. It's like the step under the god apple. It's still pretty good, though. Dude, what? <laughs> I, can't. I can't- I can't explain it, dude. I- I tell you- I tell- I told you guys, it, it, it's just the luck. So we have the coordinates, negative 78, negative 255. I will pull up my phone and take a picture of it. Um... Okay, so now we have a picture of that. Dude, the luck is unreal. Get out of here, buddy. I was telling you guys, mine shafts are good places to find dungeons. They really- they really are. I mean, that's probably where I found, like, at least half of them. So that's pretty nice. <laughs> we can do an XP spawner now, which makes me very, very happy, because those are always so, so helpful. Oh, jeez. Is it a double? Well, let's look around, because you never know. It could be a double dungeon. And then it would be... My, my goal is to eventually have a Let's Play where I find a quad dungeon. I have found a triple, but I have never found a quadruple. No, probably not. The chances of that are so low. You just never know what's around the corner, dude. There could be anything. Literally anything. Okay. Well, I'll take some screenshots of that. I really am going to meet you guys back at the house. I, I'm literally in disbelief that we just found that. Wait, where is it? <laughs> Wait, where is it? Uh, I mean, I have the coordinates, so if push comes to shove, I can always find it that way. But Wait, what? Where in the world was this? Oh, right here. Okay, cool. Let me take some three shots and meet you guys back at the house. And I'm also just going to probably dig like a hole straight up. That way I know exactly where to go to find this dungeon. Um, I feel like that's probably the best move. I'll have the coordinates, but then I'll also have like a marker above ground. Um, yeah, we are pretty deep, so this is going to take a while. But, yep, I'll meet you guys at the surface. You guys want to... Do, do you guys want me to anger you and make you mad? Well, only some of you, but do you, do you want me to make some people mad? Watch this. <laughs> nice. I'm dying, guys. I'm dying. I'm dying. Uh, please don't kill me. Not like this. Okay, cool. <laughs> so I had a little bit of a little, little bit of an issue there. Luckily, it was just uh, just a little bit of drowning. Not bad. Oh, okay. I thought we were gonna be like really far from the surface, and I was gonna pull her up. Now, obviously, I have no clue where this is. Um, but at least we'll have like a marker of sorts. Is that really all the... Okay. Well, I will make some more torches, because that will bug me. Actually, I know exactly where we are. Look! So, we're, this is actually... Okay, come on. Dude, I was trying to craft, man. I don't even know how it got to me. I guess it was swimming in the water, like, super slow. Okay, so I was going to make this. I already have sticks. I already, okay, whatever. <laughs> is that really all the coal that we have? We got six coal from that whole mining expedition? Huh? Okay, so we'll mark it like this. This will make it look special, right? That torch just totally bugged out. There we go. Pretty sweet. Okay, so now we know where a dungeon is. But look, that's the th that's the thing that we went down on. Like, literally right there. That's the uh, flowering azalea tree that we went straight down. And uh, that's how close the dungeon is. That's actually super nice. Okay. So this, sp this seed is turning out really well. I'm going to put a crafting table here. I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best to avoid death, and I'm just going to run, get in a boat, 
And uh, the rest is history. I'll meet you guys back at the house, which is right there. You can see the wood peeking over the edge. All right, so we do need to get some food because unfortunately we're completely out. I may do some fishing and I may do some like, I don't know. I, I guess we'll do some fishing because I don't really want to make crops right now. I don't have an area for that. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, no. We missed that very wholeheartedly. Okay, well, we're not two for two anymore, that's for sure. Uh, I don't know where to plant these. I mean, there's tons of areas for me to plant them. Maybe I'll do... Ooh, I actually know exactly where these can go. I know exactly where these can go. Now, wouldn't it... Oh, no. Oh, no. We got a fills a killer right there. Let's, uh... <laughs> Let's go in here. Oh, I did. I, I put a torch in here. We can put them up in here, right? I feel like that would look really cool, too. Maybe we can hide some secret loot in here or something. Okay, come here, boat. I was actually standing on you, which was super helpful. I'm gonna use you as a platform once more. And right there. Right there, right. Ugh. There we go. I actually did it. Okay, now, unfortunately, I have not lit up the top of my house. Or like the land above my house. So there's a high potential that things will just fall on me. Luckily, I did build a roof over the entryway and then over the window, so that shouldn't happen. But I guess we'll find out. Oh, we're fine. We're back home. Oh, we look. We got a little berry. To, oh, three berries to eat. Look at that. was perfect. We walk in the door. We got some snow berries to tide us over from our long journey home. And now we get to hop into bed. I still love the name of this challenge. Isn't it Iron Pick? Because, like, ironic. I had to actually ask in a stream, like, what that meant. Man, I felt real smart after people told me. So, did I get any string? I don't have any string. I bet I could still go find some spiders if I try really hard. So, let's put up all the, all the good stuff that we got. You can see everything's somewhat organized. Got all, like, the stone-type materials in here. And then we have our woods over in here. And then like dirt and stuff like that. This is the alive chest. And then we got our rarities. Ooh, yeah. We'll put that in the rare items section. Anyways, let's go see if we can find ourselves like a spider just so sitting somewhere. Can you take fall damage if you land on a boat? What? You can? Okay, well, <laughs> now we're definitely not gonna have any hunger left. So surely somewhere around here there will be a spider. I, that guy has a shovel and he's also having his own dance party. Well, that's okay. You you have fun with that, man. So, I hear a spider. Let's go. Don't kill me. Oh, oh I have no health. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, I have no health. I may have to go kill some fish by hand. Uh, run. I can't run. I can't still, actually. Never mind. I told a fib. Uh, I really don't see any more. I hear a spider. Don't kill me. Okay, he can climb, but not that. Yes, one string. Yes, one string. You're telling me we haven't gotten a string before? And, and dude, it teases you with that recipe. It's like, hey, you could potentially make... You could potentially... <laughs> well, imagine if that was the end in hardcore. You know what I mean? Isn't that nice? And then we could just run back and we can avenge ourselves. That, that's the beautiful thing. Don't land on the boat. Don't land on the boat. Oh, it's now a drowned with the shovel. Wonderful. That's 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 great to see. Okay, let's go get our stuff back because I don't want to lose that diamond pickaxe. Oh, no. Go. <laughs> go. Okay. Oh, okay. There's that creeper. So the problem is, is that skeleton is still totally sitting right there. So we're going to have to like... Okay, there's our stuff. Okay, we can we can do this 360 first of all Bruh, um We can get our stuff we can do this hey! die, 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 die. Okay, no, there's another one Okay, no, nope. no Dude, this is too this is too risky. This is too risky. I actually want those on I think wait Oh the iron ones give me more armor. Okay. I'll just put those on then Gosh, why do they have to make gold so crappy, dude? Well, that was interesting. We didn't, you know, lose the world, but we lost a little bit of honor there. <laughs> Which is, you know, take it or leave it. So, I don't know. Yeah, we don't need those. 
I don't know. I don't see any fish, but obviously I'm not gonna like find string. I should have gotten some string in the mine shaft. I know, but I wasn't thinking. I wasn't. I wasn't forward thinking with that. So let's just go kill some fish. We're going to. Oh no, sheep! No. Why? What is your problem, dude? Do I need to build him a path out of here? You know what? I'm gonna do this just for you, sheep. And keep in mind, I don't do this for all the animals. No, no, no. Only for you, Mr. Sheep. You're gonna have the greatest experience over here. Maybe eventually you'll become a part of the farm. Go, be free. Stop standing near lava, go. Be free, yes. Go, yes, let's go, we saved a sheep. He had some bad thoughts and he was standing near the lava. That's not good. So you just, you hang out up there. Don't come back down here. Okay, so I'm gonna try to find some fish. That's what I'm gonna do next because we don't have any food and I'd rather not die again to a skeleton. We have two hearts. Okay, there's one salmon. Got a salmon in the bag. Let's go. Make a little bit of space. Oh, no, no. See, we could drown very easily. <laughs> We're not doing too hard. Ooh, a wandering trader. I don't even care. Your 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 stuff is probably garbage, dude. If I if I'm completely honest, this stuff is probably garbage. I was curious, what is over here? So we saw there was a plains biome over there. Looks like another cool little water flow. And these are just sheep, so we'll probably breed these guys at some point. I don't definitely don't want to kill them or anything. Oh, I thought that was a four high sugar cane. Wait, it is. A rarity. Look at this. Four high. What is what is what is what is the point of that? <laughs> we should probably like keep this safe. Yes, he he recognizes the importance, but no one else seems to. Ooh, some chickens. We do have one egg in our chest, so maybe maybe we could do something. Yes, come here, buddy. Hmm. How hard would it be to lead all of these guys back home? Um, probably pretty hard because we have to go over water, but hey, I got nothing better to do, so let's get some chickens. Come here, buddy. Oh, he just laid another egg, too. Come here, buddy. Okay, so now I'm going to do the painfully long journey of uh, bringing them back to our house all the way over there, so I will see you guys in just a bit. Look, we got another egg. Okay, so <clears throat> I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure chickens swim very slow in water. So I may end up building them somewhat of a land bridge. Uh, let, we'll do a test here. How? Oh no! Yeah, they definitely go pretty slow in water. Oh gosh! Yeah, let, let's 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 just do a test. How quickly will they get over to here? Oh, dude, I can't. I I don't. <laughs> I don't have it in me to wait that long. So now we're just gonna build a little bit of a bridge. We'll come back and remove it. I promise. But. It's gonna be the great grand chicken bridge of 2022. It still feels so weird to say that it's 2022, but it is. It really is. Oh, I don't have enough dirt. Hey, please don't run away, chickens. I'll be back. You know, I, I, I was just thinking, why is there no like scrambled or fried egg in Minecraft when they have eggs? Why can't you just put an egg in a furnace and then you could get just like a egg, you know, a cooked egg of any kind, fried, scrambled, the broiled, like broil an egg, but I guess you could. Any, anything, just any sort of cooked egg. It's so odd, because that would be so nice if you could just like eat the eggs. Because you know, you get so many eggs, and unless you want more chickens, what is the point of all, you know, the eggs you get? I don't know, but yeah, let's see. Does the great land bridge work? Come here, chicken friends, come on. I'll even give them a, a path that's like, there we go. Come on, guys. Yeah. No, no, don't take the harder way. Dude, they're like literally avoiding the path that I built for them. But let's find out. Will this make it quick? I mean, obviously it will, right? Dude! <laughs> what, is, what is your AI? Can you at least, yeah, stand on it? No, don't go off. Oh my gosh. Dude, chickens are the stupidest mob in Minecraft. Are you guys for real? Am I really gonna have to... Bruh. Okay, I'll see you guys in like 10 minutes. Dude, oh, we didn't see it, but it's about to become dark, and the chickens, oh, no, <laughs> no, what is happening to me? Okay, somehow mobs have already started spawning, I don't, I, how are there skeletons, I mean, it's like the middle of the, it's not the middle of the day, <gasps> they're on the path, please, 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 go, 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 
into a hole. I don't care where. Just, just like, go. Sure. No, there's water. No, chickens. Please, dude. Please, dear God, no. No, dude. This might be the end of me. I'm gonna die here. This is it. Rest in peace. Two Heart Neo is gone. Uh... Okay, I thought that skeleton just got hit with lightning and we just had skeleton horses. That would have been a very bad omen. Um, okay, we will put this... We will put these chickens into this hole. Yes, go ahead. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. And we will, we will make a chicken farm at some point in the future. Are we gonna get a baby chicken? No? Okay, well we can at least breed them real quick. I can't click on the other one. They won't move. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Did I already click on them both? There we go. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry, chickens. Bye-bye. Uh, okay. All right, we can make it back home. We can make it back home. Jeez, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. Dude. <laughs> it's like the second we switch to normal Minecraft, I'm just getting straight wrecked. Well, looks like both deaths now are from skeletons. That's that's great. I'm sure we can make this work. I'm sure we can. We just gotta go back over here, not land on the boat. There is a creeper. There is a creep. Oh my gosh, there is a creeper. No, please don't. <laughs> don't do it to me. Do I really deserve a death again? No. Please. The skeleton is camping out under a tree. Really? There's there there is a creeper camping my loot. It's okay. It's okay. We have some of it. We, we can put our armor on at least. No, we can't. Come on, buddy. Come here. Yeah, come here. Cheater. No, okay. Okay. No, you're not a cheater. You're a great guy. Yeah, actually, you know what? I, I forgive you. And, and all the times you've blown me up, I forgive you. No. Please, no. I don't have a water bucket. Where's my water? Oh. That was a short burn duration. Well, thank you, Minecraft. Looks like my luck is turning. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we have everything. If we have all of our armor and stuff, we should be good. We have this, this, the pickaxe, yes. Okay, we're all good here. Except we still don't have food. We never solved that problem. And uh, yeah, we literally never solved that problem. Maybe we should go get some coal or something. Because even if we go back home, right, we're still gonna start dying. Oh no, not again. Dude, one heart. <laughs> So, yeah, I guess tomorrow's episode, we're going to figure out uh, some sort of farm or a chicken farm or something, because I'm going to go back home. I hear a skeleton. That that would totally kill me. Oh, dude, I didn't jump because there was a tree. It, like, it, like canceled my jump. I totally would have died there. Is there a skeleton going to shoot me? Okay, good. <laughs> We've not had the best luck. We did, actually. We found a dungeon and everything, so all is well, but in that regard... Not the greatest luck in the world. We do have... Oh, didn't we get some melon seeds, though? We did get some melon seeds. You know, we could do an inside melon farm, and we could do that, like, right now. Hmm. We could do it over there. I do want an infinite water source, and I have a good method for making them, so let me do this real quick. You're probably like, Neo, what are you doing here, dude? Trust me, trust me. I got you guys. So let's take some cobblestone. We are going to temporarily take this water, but it's fine. We can put it right back. So we'll go ahead and break this just in case you ever see these blocks. The chances of that happening are like, you probably will never, but you just never know. You just never know. So we'll do something like that. Oh, break these two. Don't forget to break these. Okay. And then we put the stone brick back. Cool. And then you can even put like a torch, a couple torches back there. And then we take some slabs and some stairs. Actually, no, just one stair. Look at this, guys. We're gonna have the world's best infinite water source. Cause look, it's just right there. You just plunk and you're good. So it's kind of like an integrated water source and you can just, nice. So let's make a melon farm. Doesn't need to be super big, but we do definitely need to eat. Now, how much room do we have this direction? Literally none. So everything we do has to be in this direction where we have a little bit more room and I'm thinking honestly I may want to go up here maybe no I don't know I mean we have this room over here I just don't know how far over we can go I guess we should just find out I mean we're gonna have to find out at some point okay gravel's not a good sign oh why is there why is always gotta be gravel <laughs> 
Please, no gravel. Don't do it to me, man. I'm just curious how far over in this direction we can go, because it's obviously going to end at some point. But does it really need to be any longer than this? I mean, no. Unfortunately, we are going to have to remove all the gravel, though. Torch method works great for gravel as well. But yes, I'd love to have a nice little melon farm in here. So if we wanted to do this properly, oh yeah, it'd actually be lined up perfectly here. We can do it where the melons will grow just in rows right here. I would like a three high ceiling as well. And then the only other thing we're missing here is just like some water, which uh, I actually have a really cool idea for the water. So let's go ahead and break out the floor. I did kind of forget that this is stone brick. Which might throw a wrench in this temporarily, because, yeah, we don't have any stone brick. Oh, no, we have a lot of stone. Never mind. And I'm going to only make that much. But I do need stairs, so maybe this will be... Now, this isn't the most efficient way to do this, obviously. Like, you're going to see what I do. Maybe you'll be like, Neo, why? But it's going to look the best, I think. And yeah, we're going to need a few more stairs as well. But yeah, I will put these down real quick, I guess. Oh, no, that was the only light source in this whole thing. Just a one single torch that was sitting on the ground. It wasn't even, like, placed or anything. Okay, we'll make a few more. Something like this. Yeah, we're just going to fill these in with water. So these waterlogged stairs will be the way that we get saturated farmland. So I will go in and just do this. It's going to take a little bit, so I'm not going to film it, but... Let me do that real quick. I'll come back when it's done. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> I just... Just as I did this, I was like, wait, what? What am I doing? Melons can only grow onto dirt. What? Like, what? Oh. So I hear mobs and stuff, like, walking right next to me. And obviously, I know that this is pretty close to being, like, you know, near the above ground areas. But I think we're closer than we think. So let's put this as dirt. Oh. So all the melons will grow onto these blocks right here, and then the melons will have to grow right here. So I'm going to break out both sides of the wall all the way to the end in this direction. So I'm pretty sure it'll grow on rooted dirt. So I feel like this is a good use for our rooted dirt, since it'll look different than like where the crops are planted, which will be on the sides just made of regular dirt. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so this is where all of the melons will grow, just on the sides here. And then we'll put some sort of wall material in here. I'm assuming I'm just going to use... Maybe we could use leaves in here, but the problem is, is I'd have to break two blocks in this direction. Ooh, yeah, see? So we're this is like the opening right there. But we could have like a quick escape hatch. Hold on. In case we ever need to leave quickly. Where? What am I doing? I'm looking for stone. I have the stone in my hand. Or I guess inventory. So you can put this right here, and then this right here, and I promise that won't look weird from the outside. And then, where is my wood stuff? Oh, we already have a trap door. Look at this! Quick escape hatch! Whee! <laughs> oh, it's perfect! And yeah, see, it doesn't look weird. Like, from this angle, when you look up, obviously you can see it. But if we look at the thing from the side, it just looks like regular, which is what I'm trying to show you. If I can get up here. Where did I even go last time? Wasn't it right here when I looked at the house originally? Yes, it was. See, from this angle, it just looks like part of it. You can kind of see the inside, but yeah, whatever. It's a quick escape hatch that only we know about and all the thousands of people who watch this. Whatever. So I almost just died. I was getting shot at by a very angry skeleton who I can't see. They're somewhere down there. As I'm traveling up, so that's not good. But yeah, we're probably not going to end up breaking the whole thing out two blocks because we don't have enough room. But we will leave that there, because that's kind of cool. So we will break this out, because obviously we're going to have to... Ooh, there's our first diamond pickaxe, guys. Here's our first diamond pickaxe. Uh, we we'll probably want to put some logs here. I don't even have any, man. Maybe we'll mix it up. No, we're going to have to use... Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let me break this out, add some walls and a ceiling, and I'll come back. Okay, so I'm encountering a little bit of an issue. It looks like this over here... You know what? Is it an issue? Is it an issue? That's the question. Because couldn't we, like, put... Hmm. Hmm. I know it's near the end of the episode, but I'm going to go get some more wood, and then I'm going to make a little window frame there. We're going to add another little window there. I think that would look beautiful. That way the farm has a little bit of natural light as well. 
Let's see. Did we? I was looking if we had any more glass. I think we do. Yeah, we do have enough glass panes. And we can make some more right here. Yeah, more than enough glass panes. Sweet. Okay, so that's what I'm going to go do is get a little bit of wood and I will come right back. We still don't have any food, so we could die at any moment. Oh, we have some snowberries. Thank you, snowberries. Oh, yes. Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. A darn tootin' second. Can I do this? Oh, thank you. I'm going to double click really fast. Watch. There we go. Oh, yay. Food. At last. Dude, you heal so slowly from these. And the second that you like heal even like a heart or a half a heart, watch. You have to eat instantly because saturation is so low. Okay, well at least we have half of our health back. Oh, I'm so ready to have some watermelons, which those are just totally so much better, right? And I think they're terrible too. Ah, whatever. It'll be nice to have a it'll be nice to have a watermelon farm inside the house, I think. I'm gonna write a letter to Mojang. Why did you add the snowberries to the game? If they are the most useless food source ever devised. I guess they are just naturally found in the world, but like... You have to eat literally every five seconds. If you're regening health, I don't know, you know, how bad it is if you're just running and jumping and stuff. But if you're running and jumping and regening health, it's terrible. Ooh, getting a little peek of our glowberries. I wanted to check these out. It's actually grown quite a bit and it hasn't been that long. Nice, so this will be a nice little happy looking cave. Not a bad deal at all. Okay, I'll go back up to the house. I did acquire, looks like, 22 logs. Okay, so with these logs, what I wanted to do was I wanted to frame the entrance here because it looked kind of weird just being like cobblestone. Because although the wall, well, I guess I should leave those walls as cobblestone. But I think it'll look a little bit better if I were to put like, you know, a couple of logs right here. Just to oak it up a little bit. I was going to say spruce it up, but that's not appropriate because we're not using spruce, right? No point in saying that. That would be a little silly. There we go. Something like that. And then, of course, I gotta continue breaking these walls. So hold on. Oh yeah, and I almost completely forgot. I was gonna put. I was gonna put a window here. And it, it it did briefly escape my mind. I will admit. So we'll put this like right there. Maybe. Yeah. And then something like this. I guess. Actually, yeah. If I put this here, that's fine. That's actually perfectly fine. Okay. Because I'd like the window to be a little bit bigger. Maybe something like this. Sure. You, well, you can't even see the... Well, you can't see the log on that side, but you can see it on this side. There we go, dude. We got a nice little view. A secondary view of that very, very nice area. Ooh, this is already looking pretty, pretty cool. Now, let's make sure all these blocks can be... Ooh. Ooh, yeah, you know, actually, this is kind of a good opportunity because we're going to need to saturate these anyways. So we can put stairs right here. Then we can put a water bucket right there and a water bucket right there if I put like a block here. So, yeah, if I put a water bucket there, that's four blocks in this direction. So it's not totally far enough, but honestly, if we put another stair there, it'll be perfectly fine. Okay, now all the walls in here are going to be cobblestone, and then we will stick to the theme, and we will use oak wood for the f ceiling, right? This is oak wood? Yeah. Um, I don't... <laughs> we just use all of our wood. Now, we have a few slabs in here. We can probably make this work even with some stairs as well. No one will have to know. No one will ever know. They're going to know. They're never going it, to... It'll work. Watch. So, we will just go in here. We'll break this. Okay, so yeah, if the roof in here, ah, but I want, I almost want it to be a block higher. And also it's a little bit tricky because on this wall we have this window here. So I guess the wall, I mean, obviously these walls are pretty easy to figure out. Hmm. Cause yeah, the ceiling block is gonna be like right here, right? Yeah. We'll have to figure that out. Yeah, cause I don't wanna like block the bottom of the window. Maybe we'll raise it up, but we gotta go get more wood, so hold on. Okay, there is no possible way I need more than 32 blocks. There's no way. I'm gonna get more, because I just said that, so I'm gonna jinx myself. Look at these dudes. Just hanging out here. Every time. I really need to light that area up, because it gets kind of dangerous at night. Yeah, so I'm, I'm definitely gonna raise the roof up in here. There's just no point in having it be so low. Uh, I hear pillagers. <laughs> I don't quite know where. I also want an escape hatch upwards, so we should probably build one of those too. In fact, let's do that right now. 
better sooner rather than later that we have one because we need to take care of these pillagers they're gonna be messing with us and I, I just don't I don't want to deal with them so we'll make some stairs and probably have the path go like over here right and then it can start to go up like right there nope that's right there's something there that's fine um, let's have it go a couple blocks over and then it will go up something like this oh 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 <laughs> oh it's just right here wait this is not that's not where we want to go hold up hold your horses that is definitely not where we want to go okay so yeah we will go up over here okay so something like this and then I will pretty it up later on for right now we'll just leave it like However, the ha we'll just leave it like however it ends up looking, and then we'll fix it later on. But I guess I have to break all these, so hold on. Okay, now we can stare it up. And I assume that the pillager was, like, right up here with a band of pillagers, because, I mean, I heard them, and there's no other land near me. Unless they fell down, which is very possible. What? Okay, well, I don't think they would have just disappeared. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, I mean, I don't see them. I mean, I, I suppose they could have despawned, but probably not. They're probably just somewhere around here. I'm not looking. Oh, there they are. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. <laughs> How are you guys already spawning? I'm afraid to fight them because... It, oh, you know what I should do? I'm going to be a smart, smart person. I'm, I'm going to become peak, smart, peak smartness here. First of all, I'm going to make a door because that's just like proper. should probably have a door. Um, we could do without one spider eye. I may regret that, but probably not. Also, I am going to break this. I'm not going to change it all right now, but at least change what we can see. There we go. Isn't that kind of cool? Just a nice little nice little entryway over... Oh, I didn't even build what I was going to build. Let me grab an iron, uh, an iron ingot. Also put up some of this. We don't need all the stone. We don't need all the gravel or the dirt. Or these seeds or the fish. Okay, where's our iron? There we go. I'm pretty sure I remember the recipe. I'm pretty sure it's like this, 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 this. What? What is it, man? Okay, I always swap them. Okay. So we're going to put this on. I do have the, you know, Vanilla Tweaks resource pack that'll make this a lot better. So you see how it's super tiny? Instead of, like, taking up half of my screen. That's the only reason I didn't use them before. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like that, do you, buddy? Yeah. You don't like that, do you, buddy? <laughs> Didn't even take one lick of damage. Okay. So let's not deal with those guys right now. Let's just let's just run away from our problems. Let's just run away from our problems. That's that's the move. Okay, cool. I am very happy we have this little... I don't know. We can kind of get up here. Maybe this is where we could farm trees. Ooh, kind of a nice idea. I like that. We could have a little tree farm up there. Perfect. Okay. Uh, kind of want to torch... Kind of want to torch this up a little bit so nothing happens. I don't want to, like, open this door and get creeper creeperfied. That would not be too good. Okay, so I'm going to take care of this. I'm going to finish this room. I'll, uh, obviously, like, I'm going to plant the melons. Like, let me just show you. That way you don't feel like you've missed a single thing. I mean, not, like, everything. Obviously, I'll show you mine in wood. No one wants to see that. But this is where I'm going to plant the melon seeds, if this, if this makes any sense. We'll plant three. Ooh, yeah, we probably don't want to put them right there. Um, and then to prevent them from, like, actually going there... We will put some stone brick, which we don't actually have any full blocks, so we'll just use stairs. No one's going to know. No one will ever know. Actually, someone's going to know because you can see the stone brick right there. So if, what if we put a smooth stair of stone? Ooh, we even have it. Sweet. There we go. Something like that. And it's okay if some of these blocks are not perfect. But yeah, I'm going to plant the seeds right here and right there. And then they'll grow like here, 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 all in the middle. Sweet. See you guys in a bit when I'm done. Okay, now on to the exciting, fun, somewhat fun finishing parts here. We get to put the roof in. Like this. 
And I still haven't figured out how to handle it above where the window is, but fear not. I will figure that out in just a moment. But I do know that the roof is going to extend over in this direction. The only thing I'm confused about is because these blocks will probably be... No, actually, they're fine. Oh, okay, good. I thought that they would be exposed. Um, yeah, it's perfect. Cool. And it makes sense that this is kind of camouflaged like that. So I, I don't personally see a problem with that at all. Now, I believe we still have lanterns as well. I don't know where I put them, though. And I am going to leave this like that. I may actually... Mm, nah, we'll leave that like that. Cool, I think. This looks fine to me. It's just it's just a little wonky with the water being exposed right there. But you know what we could do? Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm just trying to figure out where I put my lanterns. So obviously, they're somewhere in here. There they are. So we could take some stairs of cobblestone and I can stack a bunch of this stuff. I know my inventory is an absolute mess. And then we could probably do, is this exposed? No? Good. So we can fill this back in with cobblestone, right? Perfect. And then we can put, a, you know, something like this. And we could hang a lantern there. We could even put a pot down there. I mean, we don't have to, but I don't know. Just something something to give it some texture on the wall. It doesn't really matter. It's not a super important thing. Now, I am afraid this pickaxe is, uh, is going to break. So let's go to get that. And we're back, baby. We got a brand new pickaxe. So we could just do like a lantern here and a lantern there. And then we could do a stair and a stair. I don't know. It's kind of interesting looking. And then let's put some lanterns like over here. That way it's not too dim over here as well. Um, and then maybe, maybe some right here too. I don't know what kind of pattern to do over here, but we'll find something that looks good. I'm sure. Just fill in the backing. I'm trying to make every one of these look unique, which is harder than it looks. Cause sometimes there's only so many ways you can arrange these blocks. I could make a few of these. I probably want to make a few more stairs as well. And then maybe I could do something like you could do like this. No, 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 no. Like an upside down stair and then a slab and then a lantern. Yeah. And then we could put a lantern hanging up here and then just do three stairs. Yeah. Something like that. Look at that. Nice and unique. And then obviously we till all of these and plant these all as melons. And then the only place they will be allowed to grow via Minecraft mechanics is onto these two central rows. So we do have a few extra bones that we did not use getting the most useless food in Minecraft. Could have take those away too. Sweet. All right. Well, we'll come back next episode and we'll hopefully have some stuff ready to go. Uh, some food ready to go. Maybe we can, you know, fix the chicken farm and actually get it working. I don't know. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Another beautiful day has set in this world. I am so happy we have such an awesome world going so far. I really hope to see you guys in the next episode. So if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. If you want to play a different version, you know, of Minecraft, you know, it's still vanilla and everything. You can play my new server. Link is in the description. It's Java and Bedrock compatible. It's made by a full professional development team. We got paid developers, so it's really well kept. and It's just so much fun. We got about 300 to 400 active players right now. So again, Java and Bedrock compatible. It's like one of those server skyblocks, kind of like Hypixel skyblock. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!